The world is weird. Let me tell you about it. Hi, I'm Greg Fish, and every weekday I have a new science, tech, or just plain weird story for you. All right, I'm going to need you to stay with me for a moment. There's a story in Popular Mechanics which claims that thanks to the work of Nobel Prize winning physicist Roger Penrose, your mind can reach out to the entire universe, as in consciousness can be shared and universal. But no, not really, because this is a gross misrepresentation of quantum mechanics from New Age spiritualism made popular by people like Deepak Chopra. Yeah, the guy who wanted to argue with scientists about oxygen atoms being intelligent enough to know that we need them to breathe? So obviously this is not how any of this actually works. The idea that consciousness is a quantum wave sweeping over our neurons just means that electromagnetic activity in our minds also creates complicated interactions between subatomic particles as a side effect. That's basically it. We actually know for a fact that there is entanglement in the connection between the heart and the brain. But we also know that it would take a very special event to, say, link the heartbeat of two people, and that any two particles can only be entangled once and very briefly. So whatever quantum entanglement happens in your body, it's almost certainly going to be inside you. The idea that your consciousness could be entangled with that of others across the entire cosmos raises questions that it can't possibly answer and implies consequences that we have never actually seen with an entangled system. Things like having your own memories and your own personality and your own experiences with pain and fear or enjoyment would now have to be thrown into question. And the answers would involve a whole lot of shrugging and abusing jargon like decoherence and non-local in a way that gives any scientist a migraine. So no, this is not science. This is postmodernist philosophy that got carried away with phrases like we are the universe experience in itself and all life is connected and took them not as colorful metaphors, which they were originally intended to be, but very literally. Then they ransack scientific jargon to create very elaborate word salads from particle physics to make it sound plausible to their audiences. And once that audience is impressed, well, they have a book or a supplement or a coaching package to sell them. Isn't it kind of weird how all this quantum share universal consciousness stuff usually just ends up with you in the gift shop being asked to reach for your credit card? And remember, if you like science, technology, or just plain weird facts about our universe, follow me here and on my newsletter, World of Weird Things, where I collect five must-read bleeding-edge science and tech stories every weekday. See you next time.